So, uh, this is what was going on in a, a spring day in my town. It's a, probably a neighborhood size for you guys' town in New Hampshire on a spring day in 2005. And, and the question that I've been asking myself for a while is, why does this information system outperform the web dramatically? Which it does. And I was running around some Toronto neighborhoods this morning. I get the sense the same thing is true here, right? That if you collected all this stuff that people are sticking on kiosks and shop windows, you have a much more comprehensive understanding of what's going on around you than you can get from the web. Um, and that's lame, right? Because it's not the web, it's kiosks and shop windows and stuff. So, uh, so this is what I'm working on. In my town now, you can pick a day, and you can go there, and you see a whole bunch of stuff. And that stuff is not uh, in a database, right? It's all coming in from various kinds of feeds that I'm simply coordinating. Some of those feeds, actually right now the majority of the events are coming in on a few different public services like Eventful and Upcoming. So for a location, I set a radius, and I just gather the stuff and bring that in. But what I'm really trying to do is encourage this notion of curators who invite other people in the community to publish what I'm calling iCalendar feeds, which are actually nothing more than the ICS files that ordinary calendar programs export, right? And uh, the notion is that, uh, in any event, that this is not a database, I'm not storing anything, I'm just trying to encourage a bunch of people to contribute these flows that can be brought together um, into the syndication hub, where actually, uh, you know, it's really a collection of hubs. And so I've got curators in these various different cities who are uh, now playing this game with me, and the idea is that they go out and show people it's possible to publish these feeds, and these are the results that we can get. Uh, so, in addition to the location dimension, there's also this notion of a topical hub, right? So if you want to say, this is a guy who's keeping track of e-learning events that happen online, so they don't have a location associated with them, but they have a topic, in this case, e-learning, so he's using it not in a location way, but in a topic way. But it's the same idea, right? It's still about getting him to convince the people who have the information in a time-ordered fashion to publish it in a feed that can be scooped up and used. Um, and then these are some of the uh, you know, downstream views of it. So this is my curator in Huntington, West Virginia. And over here is uh, the stuff that he's pulling in from, I don't know, the XML or the JSON or one of the things that comes out the back end of, of the aggregator. And, and, it, and that shows up on his community site. Um, this one is actually kind of interesting in particular to me because I learned the hard way that as much as I want it to be all about the web, it's not. And uh, you know, in my time, I heard there's this thing called City TV here in my town. We have public access cable TV. A lot of people pay attention to that, so I thought you know, it would be cool to syndicate the event stream out to television as well as to the web. A whole bunch of people, it turns out, actually pay attention to that. So that's, a, that's another angle to this. You know, the idea is basically get to people where they live um, and, and, and where they are, but it's also about getting them to produce the stuff in the first place. So, you know, just a little bit of background. It seems that every 10 years I sort of dust off a, 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 an aging internet standard and, and see new interesting uses for it. So 10 years ago it was NNTP, um, and nowadays it's iCal or iCalendar, uh, RFC 2445. Which is again the thing that is the standard that governs what you know your Apple iCal or your Upload or your Google Calendar program puts out, um, and I, I contend that this is really a radically underutilized kind of thing right now. So we have this whole RSS ecosystem that's been pretty well developed at this point. It's pretty well understood. You know, we've got publishing tools, we've got subscribing tools or reading tools, and we've got aggregators over there. And my my argument is that there is waiting to be born. Um, an analogous ecosystem of iCalendar feeds, a pub-sub ecosystem where there are a bunch of common applications, in these cases actually applications that are even more familiar to people than the ones in the upper left column, ones that people use every day, although they think about them in a personal information management context more than a social information management context. And, and similarly, those same tools actually are the subscribers, right? So people, although they don't usually do this, nowadays can publish, and subscribe feeds and they can route them through web endpoints, which is another sort of recent development that people haven't really figured out. What doesn't really exist much is, uh, is the aggregator piece of the analogy, right? So there's actually some, I think it's a Portland-based product called Caligator that is aggregating iCalendar. I'm doing it, you know, but it, that, that, that niche is not very well filled right now. Um, but the, uh, so, you know, iCalendar is, is I think, uh, undiscovered and valuable uh, 
because, for example, there's a bunch of embedded Google calendars on web pages right now, and the people who are publishing them conceive of themselves to be publishing calendar information to the web, um, but they don't have a concept that they're actually publishing a feed. In other words, they don't even know that, that the Google Calendar program, which they think of as a way of making HTML happen on a website, is providing a data feed that can be mechanically aggregated. They don't even know that. And, 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 and likewise, people who run Drupal sites, Outlook users, no one knows that, that this capability exists. So really what I'm trying to do is, uh, is like that.